Hello community, hope you are doing well. In this video, we are going to learn Odoo Oval Framework. Uh, how can we set up Odoo Oval Framework with the standard JavaScript framework? Okay, so if you haven't subscribed this channel, please subscribe, like and share the videos. Here you can find the Odoo Oval Framework over here in the playlist. Okay, so let's start setting up the framework. If you haven't installed Node.js in your machine, you have to install it first and then you can start the Odoo Oval Framework. Okay, so you can download Node.js from this website Node.js. Okay, so here you can uh, download uh, Node.js. We are recommended to download LTS version because it is the stable version and we are not recommended to download the current version because it is under development version. So it may be occur some uh, problems during the development. Okay, so let's start setup of the framework. So here you can see the documentation. How can you set up the Odoo Oval Framework? Okay, so we are going with the standard JavaScript project. Okay, so in that we have to create this file structure. Uh, one is the this is the main project name. Here is the public. Inside that public, there we have to define index.html and then uh, in uh, in the src it's our main folder which is contain the main component of our application okay so here you can also create the test folder where you can write the test um, test cases for your project and in packet.json and web config.js to use for our local environment okay it will uh, it uh, we can start the server by using the web uh, webpack.config.js okay so let's create this for project structure okay so here i am uh, creating one folder in my machine and i am using a vs code for development purpose okay because it's a very easy and it is the free source okay so how can you open the project here you have to go in file in open folder and inside that you can see hello oval is there okay so you have to open this folder so inside this folder we have to create one public folder one is src folder okay uh, not inside the uh, src but not inside the public but we have to uh, create it a separate okay let's create the src and inside the src we have to create the component folders and inside that we have to create the root.js file okay so let's create so inside the src we have to create one folder folder which is name having the component and inside the component uh, there is a file which is called root uh, root.js okay and inside inside the src you have to create a main.js okay so you can see the file structure and inside the public folder we have to create index.html and outside the public and src we have to you can also create a test folder over here but we are not going to see a test cases in this series for that we are creating new series okay so let's create the packet.json file And another file is the git ignore file. This file is uh, necessary because when you have when you have installed the node uh, node modules and other files at that time, it will create the uh, packet dot uh, uh, packet dot log That file is not required uh, required to commit. Uh, that's why we have to add this file over here. So uh, during that commit they will not reflect to you okay that's why we are creating this file git ignore maybe you all know th these things okay 
so let's copy paste the code here i am copying index.html code and let's copy a uh, code of the root.js file i will explain uh, all this code uh, in details in the next video okay so here i am show you only the setups how you can set up the uh, how you can set up the project using the standard javascript okay okay so these are the things we have to use uh, during the testing purpose and git ignore we have to add this file like node modules packet.log.json and the dist folder okay so let's copy the package.json file and let's copy a uh, a web let's copy the webpack dot config dot js file okay so here i completed all the things and now you can see here i added all the uh, dependencies dev dependencies which is required for our project and for what we have to do next we have to do npm install okay so it will install the node modules uh, one thing uh, actually uh, this is a very old version we are using over here so it will not work uh, with the current uh, node.js version so you have to change with respect to a node.js version okay so we have the current version is 2.2.7 okay so this is the latest version of, of the Odoo Oval so you have to use over here when we when you are using a latest node module uh, latest node version okay uh, let's install the node modules uh, for installing node modules uh, for that command is the npm install okay this this force why we are writing this this force because if library is doesn't exist with the current uh, with the current uh, version it will install the another version of that library so we will not get any error in our project that's why we are using the dash dash force okay that means it will install the force fully So you can see uh, the node module installation is finished and here we you can see the all dependencies installed over here. Okay. So let's run the project. For running the project we have a command npm npm run dev. Okay. So here you can see the error because we given the different name of the folder so let's change the here okay and run again the project You can see our project is successfully run and it is running on the localhost 300. So, so let's run this project. 3000. So here you can see the project is running. If you click on the oval error word, oval error word, our project is running successfully. Okay. So if you have any doubt or question, please comment in the comment section and thanks for watching the video.